I spent way too much money on these. It's just because of who I am as a person. What up my channel? Welcome back to another video. I'm Jessie E. This is Ravenclaw and you're watching. After the Midwest Book Festival, I was just so inspired and excited, so I decided to stop by Target and pick up some Halloween and fall decor. This video is going to be about all of the fantastic goodies that I got, and I also will be decorating my house. First part of this video is going to be my haul, and then you will see me decorate later. The first thing that I got are these socks, which I had to wear. They say <laughs> trick or treat. Ooh, fabulous. I'm really into the spooky tree. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's got orange flecks on it. I think I might put this on a windowsill or maybe on that shelf that I have up there. I also couldn't resist getting another pair of knee-high socks. Then for the kitchen, I got a set of dish towels. The first one is kind of grayish with skeletal pumpkins. And then the second one is white and says, tell me something spooky. So y'all know that my lights have died, even though I bought them two months ago, I have to send them back because they should be under warranty but I decided to get these really cute candy corn lights to replace those. This really cute pumpkin that says boo and another adorable pumpkin to go alongside it. And then I got this sign that says trick or treat and boo, we're out of candy. I'm actually planning on going trick or treating this year. So I'm just gonna hang this up somewhere inside of my house. I am also a huge, huge fan of The Haunting of Hill House and Theo is one of my favorite characters of all time. And I've just really been in this like dark spooky mood and I have been wanting to get Theo's gloves for the longest time so I bought a bunch of leather gloves. I have always been really fascinated with characters that wear gloves. I think my fascination started with Rogue from X-Men. I've just like always wanted to be the kind of person who just walked around wearing leather gloves for no apparent reason and so the first ones that I got are these kind of like tan ones and they feel so freaking good and smooth and I just feel like an assassin like a badass like I'm completely untouchable and awesome in them. Theo also has these kind of long gloves so I decided to get a pair in burgundy. I spent way too much money on these. It's just because of who I am as a person. I love these so much and I have a burgundy trench coat that I wear in the fall so I'm super super excited for these. I also got these ones in black but they're in my car right now which is a great place for them. Oh I forgot about these. I got another pair of socks that say trick or treat. You can never have enough soft plush black socks. I got another pack of starry lights. These ones are pumpkins. And last but not least, I could not resist myself from buying these candles. They're astrology themed and this one represents the astrological sign of Taurus. It's supposed to capture the essence of being a Taurus and for that they chose amber, vanilla, mahogany, and lime, which I absolutely love. Y'all know I was born in May. I am a Taurus. And I was surprised by how much I adored the scent of this candle. And just look at the look at the packaging. The black and the gold is so stunning. And I could absolutely not resist these once I saw them. They are water, earth, fire, and air. So these element candles all have different scents that represent the elements. Air is citrus linen. The water one is water moss and sage. The earth candle is pineapple and mint, which smells surprisingly good. You would think that it wouldn't, but that one smells very refreshing. Not quite what I would have picked for an earth scented candle, but I really did like the scent. And the fire scent is really interesting. It's charcoal vetiver. So everything that you just saw was from Target. And then I also ordered a set of Halloween bath bombs by Bath Nectar Treats. Bath Nectar Treats is Jodie Foster's bath company, and they actually make the only bath bombs that I will buy. They make the best smelling bath bombs in the entire world. You can smell their bath bombs through the box. It's incredible. And they always come with these packing peanuts, which I absolutely love. It just reminds me of being a little kid and playing in boxes. Okay, so these bath bombs are made with sweet almond oil and Epsom salt. I don't know that I'm gonna open all of these, but you will see me using them in my vlogs and also on my Instagram, Bowties and Books, if you follow me there. But I'll just show you one. Oh my god, it's getting glitter everywhere. It's covered in glitter and like <laughs> this really cute dust. And for their Halloween set, these all have a little Halloween toy or a little Halloween spooky surprise in them. So I'm really, really excited to take a bath and find out what is lurking inside of these. Hopefully it's a million dollars. Okay, so I put some of the decorations here. Nice spooky dish towel. 
And then I kind of just taped up the Halloween pumpkin lights along the wall and the shelf. Just left the candy corn lights frame the shelf. This is officially my monthly TBR shelf. So I have the horror books on my TBR, the fantasy books, and then the books from my Black Girl Magic series. And then I put up the Air, Earth, and the Taurus candle while the other two candles are in the bathroom. Overall, I think it looks pretty good and incredibly cute and Halloween-y. Mm -hmm.